Hey, Patty, you met a hot Italian girl. What are you going to do to her? Fuck her right in the... Alright, uh, I think I do some sort of vlog thing for Barcelona. And the first thing I need to say in my vlog, guys, is that uh, I woke up at the right time to leave my house and get the bus, but then I fell back to sleep. You know. and, and here they are. So much swag. So handsome. It's Sam! Hello! You got some real manly bags compared to my backpack. Representing Sheffield. Gabriel okay, we'll Sater. He probably doesn't know how this works, which is why he arrived 40 minutes before the gate closes. I'm renewing my passport. This is my only proof of existence. So basically, if it disappears, I don't exist. Right, Charlie? Now, we have a fine specimen here, hunting wildebeest in the corn. He might be hunting some women too, but I heard that that, that features of men is particularly unsuccessful, especially in airports. He's now looking for his mates for backup and support, but they're not here. He's all by himself. Hose before bros, that's what happens. You get killed in the wilderness. Hello, hello. How are you going? Yeah, go. Good, you alright, mate? How you doing? Good. All right, man. How you doing? Franco, how you doing? Maybe. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We're always going to make it, guys. Yeah, we've got ages of time. Yeah, we're, we're yeah. always going to make it. 40, 40 to 50. I was fighting my nails and punching people in, in the weekend. <laughs> So look at that Gary, he's leaving us because he's got a better ticket. Forgetting his mates. Gary going in with all the privileged people. Hey Gary, fancy seat, eh? Hey Gary, nice to see you, eh? I wake up every day is a daydream. Everything in my life ain't what it seems. I wake up just to go back to sleep. I act real shallow, but I'm in too deep. I know I care about is sex and violence. A heavy baseline is my kind of silence. Everybody says that I gotta get a grip, but I let Sunday Eve give me the slip. Oh, 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 work it, work it, ah, uh, yeah, there we go. Well, it's that, right, yeah, um, it's that, it's that two days, that is, uh, thank you, thank you. We're going to watch, uh, Gold Mundial on a, on a, what's the name of the monitor? Sharp. Sharp, sharp on a sharp TV. Sharp. Gabriel and I are going to show a natural, sharp. natural, sharp. Natural, natural. Natural, natural, natural. Natural, Are you a mountain goat? Yeah, Gary. What are you, Maddie? Yeah. Well, at the end of the day, functioning on a three and a half hours sleep in Gabriel. Oh, putain, mais c'est... Ah, c'est super. What's the end of the day? Functioning on a three and a half hours sleep in Gabriel. Oh, putain, mais c'est... Ah, c'est super. Our viewers, uh, today we decide to go to the beach. It's gonna be awesome. Go, Toby. Tonight, we're going out. And we're showing this town, alright? Guys, cheers! Hey! Built tonight. I just got that on record, so it's official. This is a set of handsome boys that are coming up now and walking to the tube station. Because we're meeting friends. Maybe I have 17 minutes of reel left. What are you going to do with it? Reel? Yeah, 17 minutes of, of a video reel on my, on my camera. I'm going to make a photo. I'm looking down on my pleb. How do you feel about that? Gabby, you ain't going forward, mate. You're on the wrong side, you know. What's going on? Come on, mate, come down. Sprint it, sprint it, come on. Gary's a goat, fuck. 
Okay. Gotta go to Let's stuck, mate. On. You're in a child, you know. Okay. Come on, come on down. Come on, where, mate? All right, I haven't got much reel. Come on down. What's going on? All right, all right, all right. I'll change it down, Gabriel, you owe me your life. What do you have to say about that? I kind of do. And uh, Toby, is that all you owe me? Uh, you, you're a fracking pipe. pipe. What do you have to say fracking about that? Fracking pipe. You're fracking pipe for your oil rig. Yeah, you can't. Can we, can we have access? Can we have access to your oil? Like I see me rolling. Ah, uh, I wonder what Gabby's doing now. Oh, he's just butt ass naked out the front of the boat. Nothing too unusual. Yeah, he dropped his pants right here. Oh, right here. What a fucking knob. No, oh, he's ripped his dick out. Look at that. Look at that guy. See, this is an embargo. This is a proletarian embargo. Embargo por plebs. Eh, como se puncha pas? Me llamo Paco y estoy aquí. Aquí. La cerveza está aquí. No, no, 
¿Dónde estamos? En Barcelona. ¿Y, y Barcelona está? Es, este puerto es el, el puerto por ple... ¿Y, y está dónde? ¿Dónde? En Barcelona. Aquí. ¿Y dónde? Y... Aquí, aquí, aquí. aquí. Vamos, vamos aquí con, con, uh, con el, el chico aquí y el, el, el capitán rico y el hombre francesco homosexual y el inglés retardado que se llama el Dillo Charlie. Y vamos, escuchamos a, a la, la canción, uh, la, el Sanjo en Machusa, el Aiz en Machusa. Mi, mi familia vive aquí. Would you look at that? Beautiful. Would you believe this? This is, this is actually my boat. I know, I know it's hard to believe, but it, it is my boat. They, they, didn't, they didn't believe me. We're trying to get a spot, but I think this, this Spanish uh, leader of the port is asking us how, how many tomatoes we have before we're allowed to dock. Look, a pleb. Aquí, a pleb. Say hola, pleb. Pleb, help. Hola. Cheers. 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 Capitán, que es en embarco o su embarco. Attempting a triple flip starfish dive with pike. Starfish dive. It's incredibly complex because what it does is I'm going so quickly doing it that I actually look like I'm doing a normal dive. But trust me, it is a starfish dive. It is very cool. It's fine. Do it for the kicks. They follow us. Oh my god, history repeats itself. Look, it's a pleb. Come to help us. Nice beer. Yeah, sure. Great decision to take those bikes down there. And uh, we're getting ready, planning the rest of our journey. Amidst the guy passing in front of me with the camera, we are now at the top. Pretty much to the summit of Barcelona where the uh, old Olympic Stadium was, and it was quite a, kind of a hike to get up here. You get up here by bikes and bikes alone. It's a pretty tough ride up. Anyway, beautiful, beautiful. The view is absolutely splendid. Here we are. We've defeated it. The others will be coming in a second. One black! One black! One black! One black! New way of riding in town. Down there, low riders. What are you doing? Stop, you dick! <laughs> I right, get them hydraulics going. Come on. <laughs> in control for very short. You guys should be paying more than that. I'm only in control for very short. Okay. I'm vlogging, man, from my from my telephone now. Oh man. <laughs> <laughs> I look horrible. Capitan. Capitan, are you alright? Yeah. I'll get you some more water, okay? <laughs> Give me more names and I can tell you. Fine. Uh, Pablo Hernandez. No. Javier Mascherano. No. You tell me hey. and I'll, re I'll, recognize, I'll recognize when you say it. Mascherano. It was, it was like, I think it was an S. Does Silva play there? Uh, David Silva. Yeah, but he was his brother. Uh, like, that's what he told me, that's what he claimed. I don't know if it's true. Davia. No, no, it was Silva, Silva's brother. Silva doesn't play Real Madrid. Well, then you, why do you tell me Silva? It was an S, I told you. It was a name with an S. Anyway, you go to sleep. Hey, Sergio Ramos. Sergio Ramos? No. <laughs> hey, Paddy. Oh, how'd you scrape your arm again? You didn't tell me the story 53 times. Basically, look at my arm and tell me, yes, I know, I'm a bad man, but. I scraped it while playing uh, snooker. So you're, you're, you're a posh bad man. 
posh, bro, man. What do you, you know at least how to play? Do you know at least how to play pool? Yeah. No, no, but was there a good deal? Tequila for one euro. Tequila for one euro? No way. Yeah. Did you get Did you get eight tequilas for eight euros? No, we got no fucking two way. Tequilas for two euros each. And oh then, man, that's that's some math. That's some math mind fuck there. But you worked it out, and you came back to the boat. Basically, we lost Toby, and, and Paddy came drunk to us and told us that we were missing El Capitan. How did you, how did you hurt your arm? And Paddy... I played, I played pool. And you met those American pool. guys who really loved you, right? That was too nice of man. Yeah, and then the, the Spanish guys, the brother of the guy, they were already aggressive. He was like, Yeah, they tried to fucking fight me, and I was like, look at me. Tell me what you want, and I'll fucking kill you. Good that's, night. You know that's why I brought my belch because it's a it's a killing machine it's for drunk people. It's a fucking people. killing machine. Louis' belt is a fucking killing machine. And I would like to say good night to you. And I love you very much. I don't know how to sum up the past few days, but one one easy way to put it is Toby and Paddy have been excessively drunk the entire oh, time. Uh, <laughs> and and Paddy's actually like still drunk now, though he's oh, walking out. <laughs> Stop, Louis. <laughs> you fucking. <laughs> Paddy actually came last night because Toby fell asleep in some corner, yeah, and and Paddy Paddy came here <laughs> drunk out of his mind, and he came to save him. He came and he, he called no, for reinforcements, no, no. and Toby just denies it because Paddy's one Dutch. One but actually, <laughs> Dutch. But Paddy came w drunk out of his mind. Said, guys, we was. gotta go save him. What happened? And Gabby found him. Yeah, what happened was this guy. Hola. Hola. We're still holding our balls, you know. <laughs> Mama, she's That's not coming the... back. Alex. Give it a break. Alex. Oh, she's naughty. She's naughty. She's naughty. Because there's another little dog and she wants to say, Alex, Alex, come here. Alex. Alex. <laughs> Mama, she's gone. Leave her. <laughs> no, no, she's gone. She's gone. Has she grown again? Huh? Has she grown again? Mate, she goes all the time. She's oh, fucking dog, you know. Yeah. <laughs> I'm growing at the moment. Hi. Who wants to play? Who wants to play? Hi. I'm talking to someone else now. Hi. This thing is. Funny, funny. Where are you guys? a new movie called The Human Centipede where every penis is suited to the other person's anus. Luckily for them, they're both dead and Gabriel's still alive and he's fighting for his survival right oh, now. Yeah. This is the effect on Gabriel leaving. Paddy's just tired. Charlie's the new guy on the computer. And look at Capitan. Capitan can't even move. That's how upset he is from Gabriel leaving. Alright, so today Gabby left. And, uh... Toby, Charlie and Paddy are all too tired to get out ready or do anything. And uh, me being the son of Catherine Sever, I think that I really need to see everything in town before I leave. So I decided I'd take the opportunity to rent a bike for three hours. And I'm going to go cycle by myself uh, to have a look at some of the monuments. Maybe climb a mountain like that if I'm fast enough to get to the back end and come here. Anyway, it's going to be exciting. Cheap! 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 Oh, 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 no, oh, oh, all right, just had a fantastic day cycling up the Olympic Mountain for the second time. Now I'm going to go have a dinner with the boys for this uh, last evening and hopefully a funny sheep montage coming up. That's right, Gary. Go for a drink. 
Trust him, mate. You'll be working hard today. Good job, Gary. Is that better than I'll ever be? Tell me what you want, and I'll fucking kill you. Good night! Charlie, tell me what you want. What you really, really want. And I'll fucking kill you. <laughs> I'll tell you what I want. Last night, so we are out of to the Atheum Club. No, we went the first, uh, first night we went out. It's gonna be fucking awesome. This is just Charlie, me and Paddy though, because Toby's quite sick, which is quite sad. Well, have a good night though. It's gonna be a good night. Yeah! As a testimony of last night, I just want to say that Swedish girls are absolutely stunning. They're fucking nuts. Fucking I fucking nuts. love them. I it's taken me ten days. But finally, I get them to do some work. It's the end. We're lifting off seat 1A and 1B. Here we go. Cerveza! Yes, I've been allowed in the UK. Oh, so this guy. This guy. This guy. Noise! It's really weird because I can breathe through my throat and my lungs, but I can't feel them like it's as if they're not there. I tried everything. See that burp, for example. I didn't feel it coming, but I knew it was coming, and I can't feel my throat, but it's still there. Okay, well, that feels like a curse set. of me not being able to breathe through my lungs. Is actually uh, me panicking because I can't actually breathe. But then, uh, so I think it was a curse because I basically lost use of my subconscious uses. So I said, oh wait, it took me a while to realize that maybe it's just because they fuse with my conscious actions, which means that my conscious actions will be using as my subconscious, so I'll be thinking all the time. So you see what I mean? I'm going to reiterate. My brain, my brain has a sort of functions that it thinks of all the time, you know, like uh, without you thinking about it, like breathing and, you know, shutting your eyelids and opening them. But then the stuff like, because I can only feel my my skin, and not anything below it. I feel like anything is operating it because I demand it. And I feel them when I ask them to respond. So now I want to feel pain. I feel pain. I don't want to feel pain. I don't feel pain. So I'm basically telling my brain everything I want to do. So basically rather than my subconscious being the filter of my powers, it's basically like losing your prime minister. You see these act sorry, being a prime minister and losing your vice, uh, your, your, your VP, vice prime minister. You know, Nick Clegg, the guy, the equivalent of this guy, basically. So, it was real. I have enough. So basically, you regain more control, which means that you, you have, it's tiring because you have to think of more. It's exactly like being a prime minister and losing your vice prime minister because you still have to think of, which means that, like, you know, these stuff that you wanted to run in the background but you couldn't take the time to run yourself, like thinking of breathing, of, you know, using every each and every muscle, these things are gone, which means that now my brain is doing them. But on the other hand, it means that stuff like my legs, the, you know, contracting muscles when I get up, stuff like that, I won't know because I don't know, because I'm not asking my brain to use that, I'm just asking him to go forward, not to pay attention to what's going on in the legs. So maybe I could tear my muscles because I could use them too hard without knowing that they're warm or not, and so they would tear. Oh shit, this is more of a curse than I thought. But on the other hand, then I thought, oh, it means that I could just, you know, think of, I know what I'm thinking of, like, I think of what I'm thinking, and I know that I'm thinking it. So, I could just be in control of every math equation I do, because I'll know exactly what my subconscious is thinking, so when they're, they're this fused, so it's kind of a so that, yeah. So basically, I felt like I lost control of everything that was inside. So my lungs I only breathe because I asked myself to breathe. So it basically meant that my subconscious and the conscious are fused. And if if I forget to use something, if I forget to use something, I'm not going to use it. Which, but I'm not going to feel it either. So I got to think of everything on the other hand. But it means that. 
I kind of means that my brain trains to be stronger anyway. Anyway, I hope I'll, I hope this will, I can like sort of make sense of this in a theory. So I decided to come to terms with my curse slash gift, which actually turns out to be more of a curse than I thought because I can't see my legs. I know they're hurting, but I can't actually activate the muscles. So I could be pulling a lot on the muscle without knowing about it, and you know potentially injuring myself and not knowing about it. On the other hand, another thing though is, uh, is it, like directly, I tried to fire. Um, I tried to fire all my orders into the subconscious. Oh, you know, start repairing this piece of skin because it's hurting. But as soon as I stop thinking about it, the order stops filtering through. So I've got to uh, keep thinking about it. So that's. What